So in part 12 of our little series of Let's Build an Intranet Together, um, we're going to be copying the pages we want to use for our department. So remember in the previous uh, video, I showed you how to create that departmental template page that we're going to be using to copy these pages. I know that it's possible that not a lot of this makes sense to you yet, but I can promise you when you see the end result, you're going to go, yep, I've got it. So something that I didn't add in the previous um, video clip was the links and resources um, web part. So just to quickly show you what that looks like is that when I navigate down is what I did is so I went and I added a web part and the web part that I used was, how's that for my phone like going off and sending me messages? And the web part that I used was Quick Links. And then as soon as I added that web part, I could then add Quick Links. So I've just designed a little logo in, uh, in PowerPoint. And for now, I've just linked them all to the home page. And I've called it Links and Resources. So I've added that to my template page. And this means that um, I can now um, use this page to copy for departments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my site contents. And, um, and I'm going to go to site pages. So in site pages, I can select the ellipsis next to that departmental template page. And I can then say, you know what, I want you to copy this page. It's going to ask me, where do you want to copy it to? Yes, I want to copy it to site pages. So it's going to make a copy and it's going to call it whatever it is one. So you'll see there, it's created another page, exact copy of it. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this page. So the example I'm going to use is human resources. So the first page that I'm going to build is human resources. And there you'll see the page is built. How quick is that? <laughs> remember, I told you I'm lazy. So there's the page built. But remember, it's an exact copy of your template page, which means we can now configure this page and have it look like we want it for um, human resources. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this page. And before I even look at the images and things, now remember, we've created filtered views for each department, and now you'll understand why. So if I go to the brain web part, which is my documents, I'm going to go edit that and say, I only want this to show not the department by document type. I want this to show the human resources view. Auto size fit to number of items, absolutely. And then I'm going to edit this one. Now, at the moment, it's a bit dodgy because I've already used human resources as an example for content. So it'll show the same content. But um, once um, you look at the other pages, it'll then show you the correct content. So again, auto size, apply. It's going to still show the, um, the form at the bottom. But this now means I can configure this to only show the human resources team. So let's say Dina, for example, is not part of the human resources team. And let's say in this example, I'm the um, the person who updates this page. Then, of course, I can also go and I can add or change the banner used. So I'm going to go and say, ooh, wait a minute. There's a new update that's gotten released. This is brand new, people, which means it's going to be in a blog pretty soon. So this is how um, you change the layout of your pages of whether you want this banner to be at the top or compact or something. No, that's pretty cool. We're going to get back to that soon. So I'm going to go change the image for my banner now because remember, it's a template page that I used. I can upload a new image. Yeah, I really like that. That's pretty. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to set the focal point. Of course, now I can go and change this. And now I can edit my um, my Euro web part as well. Very easy to update. Let's just do um, a little test there again. As I can change this now to say only go to the policies or go to the payroll website or go to the like employee self-service. I can change the link there. I can also upload a new image. So let's just change that. So just to prove my point. I'm going to add the image and I'm going to publish my page. And there we go. Page is copied. <laughs> Let me just minimize that. Page is copied. Um, the content is ready. Of course, the one thing I didn't do was the following is I need to rename the page as well. So I'm going to call this human. Oopsie. I'm going to call this human resources. And there we go. Done. You need to go and copy a page now for each of the departments, remember, and then we'll, uh, we'll catch up soon.